This is this morning's challenge. <clears throat> she looks, well, pretty content. But I've got to milk her. And she's sort of new to milking. And it's probably hard for you to see, but she got an udder on her. My hands are sore, it's hot, and if she runs out of grain, she starts flailing around. So we're just going to have to see how this goes. Here she goes. See that? She's ready because she knows she gets feed, but... We are talking some serious milk in the head. Of course, she's not going to cooperate. She's a goat. There we go. Oh, that's an udder, guys. Whew, wish me luck. The task is done. If you see her udder, it's the way more shrunken. Uh, my hands are still kind of sore, and there was a little bit of a battle, but towards the end, she just kind of stood there. So we're we're making improvement. One of these mornings, we'll get Pastor Joe to videotape it. Um, when she's done eating the grain, she wants to get down, but I can't let her do that. I, I want her to understand we milk until the milking is finished. So I had to, like, clip her to the kennel that the milk stands next to so she couldn't move but we got her pretty well done um, I have a bodyguard he's with me always this is the one who also killed a couple of goats this summer so he's in training as well and so far since the last um, incident where he wounded a goat we've made a lot of progress and he doesn't seem aggressive but we still keep our eye on him uh, so I'm going to go get the milk, and then I've got to go wrestle with all the other goats, replace them, and I think I'll bring maybe two of the little ones over here to keep her company. Milk needs to be processed. Got to do that next. I got the milk processed, put in the refrigerator. It was approximately two quarts of milk, quart and a half of milk. Uh, you hear a goat over there yelling. She got moved. That's one of the little goats, but she's not that goat's baby. That goat's baby is actually several months old, and it is time for it to be weaned. So that's one reason why I now have to milk. Or don't have to, but I mean, come on. You got a goat who's going to give you a quart of milk a day? You're going to ignore that? I don't think so. Um, so now I'm sitting down cooling off. And I obviously won that battle. The thing about milking goats is you don't want to make it more complicated than it is. Uh, in the ideal, the goat should just stand there eating the grain. You should be able to milk until you're done milking. And then you, she's done and we go. You don't play games with them. You don't tie them with 27 knots all over them. Um, I, I heard a story about a lady who like ties each and every foot, ties the whole goat. It's like, no, you just... Like, I clicked her to the kennel so she couldn't swing her rear end around, but that's it. Like, I didn't tie her legs or anything. I kind of leaned into her when I was milking and just kept milking. Like, she kept, tried to go forward, she tried to go back, and I would kind of shift with her and push into her. But once she stood still, I backed off of her so she knew she was doing okay. And then she stood there pretty well till I got most of that milk out. So, should be a simple process process you don't want to teach your animals that things get crazy and lots of drama all right hope you're having a blessed day shalom done a morning what i did this morning i took the middle of the day off and like tried to upload videos and things okay this afternoon's um chore is dehydrating tomatoes I'm at the solar dehydrator and never fails. Every time I come out here to play with it, the wind picks up and it makes the whole thing harder, like this thing blowing around. Um, here are the tomato skins from yesterday's canning. Someone so told me that you can dehydrate the skins and then make a powder out of them to mix with food and stuff, so I thought that was a good idea. I don't have any cookie trays down here to set them out on. So what I'm using is the tray that's in the dehydrator, which obviously has stuff on it right now, but I'm taking it off. And these flower bag cloths that I got at Walmart, I'm going to spread these out. Um, and I went back to get another one because this one's not enough. I'm going to spread them out and then leave them in the dehydrator and see how effective that is. 
Well, in here getting dried stuff out, I found this very dry towel. That was another experiment that I had left in there just to see if it would work, if the dehydrator would work like a solar dryer, like a clothes dryer. So I left this in there when it was wet, and yes, it worked. It's completely dry. So good for me. Whole nother experiment I totally forgot about. On with the tomatoes. Tomatoes are on this tray, and then this tray up here. And the next one down is um, greens. And the next one down is some more greens and some passion fruit leaves. And then the last one is blackberry vine leaves. This is what the tea is made from. So, we'll get this feller closed up. It's pretty big. It's got to be properly shut. This has got to close all the way, which tells me somebody's not all the way in, that guy. Okay. This one has got to be shut. Sorry. Got to be shut all the way. And then this was held in place by this little piece of wire. I should probably get another something to do it. And then the temperature right now is 100 degrees, but it probably gets hotter once the sun is shining. And in here I have the things that I finished and took out. So that's the other chore for this afternoon. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.